What's going on, Cincinnati Bengal Nation? How y'all doing today? A uh, couple weeks away from the start of the NFL season. I'll uh, come, be coming at you live with the Blazing Five last year. We did horrible, but I did end up winning money last year. Uh, thanks to the Cincinnati Bengals. Had a lot of money on them against the Patriots at home that year. That was my big, big winner. It was probably my, it was one of my locks for the year. Besides the Eagles Raiders game, which I, I ended up really not betting. Um, those were, those were like my two good solid winners that I had good feelings on. And those were my two winners. But uh, moving forward, getting ready for the start of the season. This is just a quick video. I'm going to come out with the, uh, I'm going to come out with AFC predictions, then I'll come out with the NFC, and then uh, well, I'll do NFC first, and I'll, I'll finish with the AFC, because I like the AFC more than the NFC. So we'll go AFC, well, I should go AFC in alphabetical order, eh, forget about it. We'll go NFC first, AFC, and with the AFC video, I'll give you my Super Bowl winner. Eh, it's tough to say right now, very tough to say. A lot, I, don't, I don't even know who I like in the Super Bowl. but. AFC is pretty, pretty, pretty picture, picture clear. I like New England and Denver. I'll give you, I'll give you that much as a hint as far as the final four. NFC side is very tough. I'm debating. It could go either way. Green Bay, Seattle, New Orleans, uh, and then you know San Francisco. Probably not. But those three, I'm, I'm, I'm even Chicago is a sleeper. But I want to give you a few off the wall crazy predictions for. This year, okay. Prediction number one: AFC. The, the 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 rushing title is coming back to the AFC this year, and it's going to come out of Rex Ryan's house. I think Chris Johnson is going to have one of his, you know, CK CK two thousand type years. I really, really do. I think he's going to have a, you know, a, he'll come back with probably when comeback player of the year. Even though he still wasn't hurt per se, but he's the performance will be. You get my picture, anyways. But I think he's going to end up, he'll have the rushing title. Uh, I think LaShawn McCoy might get dinged up. Maybe not. I could be wrong. It's going to be him, McCoy, and Peterson, though, vying for it. I definitely think he's going to lead the A. At the very least, I think he's going to lead the AFC, though. Uh, I know there's Chris Ivory and stuff, but I really just think if he don't lead the league in rushing, he'll definitely lead the league in total yards. With receiving and uh, receive, especially on their Marty Morning Wings offense. So, see how that goes, though. Um, uh, but uh, another off the wall prediction, prediction I'm going to make is there will be a quarterback controversy in Philadelphia. Uh, I think it's possible Foles did get concussed, it's going to be a minor one. But a discussion nonetheless, especially if Foles comes back from the concussion that I think he's going to have in either week one through four. I'm not sure if they have a bye. But anyways, let's just assume they're playing all four games. Uh, yeah, they're playing four games. Anyways, so yeah, assuming that, assuming that he gets hurt and doesn't do good, there'll be a little bit of a quarterback. I think Foles will get hurt in weeks one through four. He's going to be missing. Johnson got suspended for PEDs for the first four games. So keep that in mind when you're betting them. The Eagles, you know, be careful with the tread lightly on the Eagles. Well, you got to tread lightly anywhere in the team in the in the, in the uh, anytime when you're when you're uh, the first few the, the first eight weeks are the hardest. You know, first even even the first first ten weeks, and then it's kind of like I said after Thanksgiving, it kind of gets a little a little bit easier. Not really, but uh, yeah, that's another prediction. I think Foles is going to get hurt. Sanchez could step in. I really think Sanchez, if he gets a chance, any chance, is going to do really good, uh, especially under Chip Kelly, who is an offensive-minded coach. Um, you know, not I don't know who was that dumb dumb. He's the he's the OC for uh, St. Louis. I can't think of his name. Brian Schott, Martin Schottenheimer's son, Brian Schott. And I, not, you know, none of these, you know, mental midget offensive coordinators. You know, I really think he would have shined. He would have had a good year last year on their Marty Morning Week. Not, not, not great, but I, I don't know. You know, he would have had a pretty darn good year. Um, so, but I think I think Sanchez can really bounce back with the Eagles if if he gets a chance to play. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm a big Sanchez fan. I haven't given up on Sanchez yet. So uh, those are my two basically 
Um, big big predictions. Uh, don't see too much else going on. I'm trying to think of another. Okay, receiving yards. I'll go. I'll predict Calvin Johnson. <laughs> um, but then again, maybe he's due to get hurt. You know that Madden cover. After that Madden cover, they didn't make the playoffs. They stunk. Expectations are really high for that team. Maybe he gets hurt. So receiving yards. I'm trying to think. Who could I? Throw in as a second. Uh, tough to say. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be somebody from New England. I'm trying to think. Could be AJ Green. AJ Green could have a big year. I don't think so because they're going to. It's going to be a more run, a little bit more run pass, run first than pass first. Uh, versus Jay Gruden. Uh. I really can't see who's going to have a big year. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of another big time receiver. Andre Johnson's washed up. AJ Green will be up there. He'll be in the top five though. Still, I think. Um, but if Calvin Johnson did get hurt, who's going to be number one? Um, maybe Larry Fitzgerald. He was. He's getting so old up in age though. But he could have a, a breakout year any year. You never know with Larry Fitzgerald. I wouldn't put it past him. And, and maybe Carson Palmer eases back on the picks, but. You know he struggled against the NFC, really struggled. If you look at it, if you look at his stats, even though he had all these great stats at the end of the season, you gotta remember it was all against his old AFC pals, all against the AFC South, which was probably the worst division of football. Houston, Jacksonville, Indianapolis, and uh, yeah, Tennessee. You know the other team. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm gonna say pretty much that's the craziest prediction. Uh, the Houston Texans might be a playoff team. Um, that that's another off the wall prediction. I'm not gonna. I'll get into that details. I don't see it happening, but they can do it. Even though I'm not crazy about Ryan Fitzpatrick as a starter, but when you got a good two defensive ends, J.J. Watt, and uh, you know their whole defense comes back healthy, you know the the other guy. The linebacker that keeps getting hurt every year. I can't think of his name. I think it's Reed or not Ed Reed. I'm trying to. I can't think of his name. But the middle linebacker that Brian Cushing. He keeps getting hurt. Maybe he's healthy all year for a change. Um, so who knows with them? Um, but basically that's it. Just a few off the wall predictions for the uh, job. So I, I forgot to put music in the background. So, eh. but uh, okay, I'll come out though. Probably I'll wait till like like week week two week three um, to come out with the uh, come out with the video for the AFC and NFC predictions. Until then, guys, take care. We'll have the Blazing Five for you every Sunday, and uh, if you want to, we could talk a little English Premier League. Psych. We just betting straight up Real Madrid at home, baby. Just bet straight money on Real Madrid at home every game. Just bet that money. That's all. If you want to bet soccer, just bet my advice is bet Real Madrid at home. You can't go wrong. That team's loaded. And if Ronaldo's healthy and gonna if Ronaldo can come back healthy and score a lot of goals, you can bet them on the road too. Um, but yeah, put put place big bets on them at home. And avoid all this preseason gambling if you're like me, a degenerate. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, guys, take it easy and uh, enjoy the preseason. And I'll come out with a few videos in a couple weeks. Take care, guys, and see you all later, Bengal Nation. Who day, baby? Who day?